So for this demo, we are going to look at applying the dimension style that we created in the earlier demo and putting in our annotative uh, dimensions. And we're going to use the same examples that we used for the annotative text demo where we had a, let me go in here, we have uh, three different scale drawings. We have a floor plan at one eighth of an inch, we have an enlarged plan at a quarter inch, and we have an elevation that's at one half of an inch. So let's go back into model space here. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Model space. And let's start with the plan. So I've already set myself on the A Anno Dims layer. I'm going to go into the Annotate tab. I want to make sure that my dim style is current here and I'm going to go down and check my annotation scale. Right now it's one to one, so what we want to do is switch it to uh, one eighth of an inch equals a foot. And we're just going to put in a few dimensions here. So I'm going to click on the dimension tab here and we will just plop in a few so that we can see what they look like. Let's see, let's let me continue. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So we've got a few dimensions in there. Let's go ahead and put in a vertical one real quick. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put in some dimensions for the enlarged kitchen plan here. So we're going to switch our annotation scale from one eighth of an inch to one quarter of an inch. And we'll just put in a few dimensions here. here and we'll just kind of go up. Okay, so now we've got enough dimensions here that we can uh, kind of see what's happening in our uh, paper space. So when we come back in here, you can see that similarly, similarly like when we put in the text, we are only seeing the dimensions that are associated with the viewport. So if you click on the viewport and go into properties, you can see that the annotation scale for this overall floor plan is set to one eighth of an inch. So it's showing the one eighth of an inch uh, equals a foot uh, annotation, the dimensions in the text. If we come over here to the uh, enlarged plan and click on it, the annotation scale is set to one quarter of an inch equals a foot. And again, you're seeing just those uh, dimensions that are set to one quarter because you, it, uh, if not, you would be able to see this, this dimension here and part of this dimension. And you'll also notice that the, uh, the text is coming up the same size. If we plotted this sheet, the, the text for the dimensions would come out at the same size. It would plot at 3 30 seconds of an inch. So let's go ahead and go into our interior elevation and do our third scale. And let's go over, let's see, it's this one. And again, we want to um, set our annotation scale to one half of an inch equals a foot. Scroll down here a little bit. Okay, so we'll just put in a couple of dimensions here. Again, I'm just clicking on this uh, dimension button up here. And going across. And um, I also want to show you that like we did with the text, uh, what happens if we put in a dimension at the wrong scale? So let's say we forgot to change our annotation scale and it was still set at quarter of an inch equals a foot. So we put in a dimension and you can see right away that it's it's too big because these are the correct size and this is this is too big. So let's first go into our um, paper space here and let me stretch this out just so we're sure. And again, you can see that because it's set to the wrong scale, it's not going to show up in this viewport because the viewport, again, is set to an annotation scale of one half of an inch equals a foot. So we can change that. Um, we can go back into model space. We don't have to redo the dimension. All we have to do is click on it, go into properties, find under miscellaneous here where it says annotative scale, click over here, and it'll bring up a uh, dialog box here. We can click on add and then add that one half of an inch uh, equals a foot scale and then delete the quarter of an inch 
click OK, and it automatically resizes it to the correct scale. And again, if we go back into paper space, you can see that it's now visible in this viewport. And again, all of these uh, dimensions, the ticks, the text, um, they will all plot at the same size if we plotted this sheet, um, and which is what we want. We want all of the notes, uh, the dimensions, all of that to come out as 3 seconds of an inch. So it's fairly straightforward to put the, the annotative dimensions in once you've got the, the style set up correctly.